Priti Mishra and today I am going to talk about importance of coding in SEBI IT. So we at IXAMB are launching the course for SEBI IT and the new batch will start on 30th of October. Before beginning the importance of coding in SEBI IT, I would like you all to explore this opportunity and know about this opportunity. You can get to know about this all. Uh, while going to our web page that is www.ixambi.com and if you have any question after this video also you can just uh, give us a call at the number which is being shown on the screen right now or you can ping us at hello at ixambi.com with your queries so now let's begin for the topic of the day that is the importance of coding in SEBI IT so I'm going to tell you about basics of uh, coding structures in the SEBI IT program and also I'm going to help you to know how you can uh, deal with all these aspects but uh, I will not talk much about uh, the evaluation of the coding paper those all things will be discussed in a separate video before beginning I would like to have a disclaimer you can read it by pausing the video this is something which is as a company we should uh, let you know what we are responsible for as you all know that SEBI is having phase 1 and phase 2 and coding is the part of phase 2. So what you will have as a phase 2 altogether is coding and the English descriptive. The English descriptive paper will happen along with phase 1 but it is evaluated for phase 2. That is a separate story. Here in this video I am focusing on the coding part which is the maximum marks uh, thing in the phase 2. So in coding what you need to know what is the duration of the exam so the duration of the exam is 3 hour and 30 minute where you will have 30 minutes for reading only you cannot start writing any question on the pariksha platform you just need to figure out the sort of uh, uh, strategy for your exam what you will be going to do in the 3 hours of the exam now for these initial 30 minutes the typing will be blocked now what sort of questions will be coming you will be having overall 4 plus 3 plus 2 questions which is equal to 9 questions now you don't have to attempt all the 9 questions you will have 3 categories as simple medium and high level the simple medium questions uh, uh, will be very easy but the higher level questions will be a bit tough so in simple level question you will have the choice to leave out one question and that will be of 10 marks for medium you have a choice to leave one question and medium marks questions will be of 20 marks the high level questions will be of 30 marks and you also have a choice to leave one question out there so overall you have a choice that which all questions you want to attempt so out of nine you can attempt six but in every category you can leave only one now the next thing that you need to know about the exam is that the maximum marks for every category for simple it will be 30 although there are four questions you cannot attempt all the four even if those you attempt all the four questions you will still get maximum 30 marks now same goes for the medium which is for 20 uh, which is for uh, 20 marks for two questions that will be 40 marks and high will be one question for 30 marks and there were the total maximum marks for paper 2 that is the programming test will be of 100 number so this is all sort of uh, basic structures that you should know before attempting and knowing the SEBI IT exam now you have to make a note that there will be four questions for simple but you can maximum attempt three only you can attempt more than that also but you will not be awarded any marks for over attempting the question so please don't do that and keep that in mind that in every section there is a maximum limit and you cannot go beyond that maximum limit same goes for the medium complexity and for the high complexity if you attempt more than the required you won't get any extra marks for writing any extra answers now what sort of languages are uh, allowed in SEBI IT this is like C++ Java and Python you can write any code in any language there is no need that you have to fix the language at the very start you can change the language as per your own convenience and these particular versions of the compilers are from the previous year this year definitely there will be a change but you can see the versions are not very updated and you don't need to have a very recent knowledge of all the libraries which are incorporated in that compiler 
Now, the big announcement for the video that we are going to launch the SEBI Grade A IT course starting from 30th of October. And here you will have the detailed study plan, the regular discussion classes, the filtered relevant study material, and you will cover all the phase one, phase two, and the interview. And uh, short notification is already out. If you want to have a look, you can have it. Otherwise, new batch is starting from 30th of October. So if you want to enroll, don't waste any time. Go to our uh, website and check out our uh, questions and uh, mock tests whatever you want to test for free then what all things will be provided is like video lessons study notes life doubt classes mcqs practice for all the concepts chapter sectional mock test and everything will be provided so uh, don't worry about anything everything will be covered you will have the exam like questions to help you for preparing 50 percent faster now without wasting any time i would like to end this video and before i uh, end this video i would request you to like share and follow uh the iExamB YouTube channel to get the regular updates from our site so that you don't miss on any important topic which is related to any government exam notification or related to any syllabus or any detailed um, information. Prepare 50% faster with us. If you still have any questions, you can mention that in the comment section. We will be happy to help you out. Otherwise, you can reach out to us at hello at iExamB.com or you can give us a call on the number which is flashed on the screen right now. So that was all for this video. I hope uh, you guys have now clear understanding why the coding is important and what all things are there. Uh, what is the basic pattern of phase two in very upcoming next videos. I will discuss detail about the uh, how the papers are checked, how the marks are evaluated and how you can tackle the phase two altogether. So this was all for this video. Uh, see you in the next video. By the time, keep practicing and stay updated.